Marketing, and I'll say it a million times, is about designing a brand to build awareness, which creates interest and ultimately generates sales. What is marketing? And, and how important could marketing be to develop a career? In this video, I want to talk about an emotional connection you are trying to build with an audience. And of course, the power of that audience buying into you. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. Marketing is first and foremost about establishing an emotional connection with an audience. When people believe in who and what you are, they will invest in you. Well, Tom, how do we know that they are uh, even buying into our brand? Good question. Basically, are they interacting with your brand and giving a conversation and speaking about that brand openly on social forums and in person, as well as, of course, purchasing your items and seeing you perform or watching your movies or even helping elevate the product itself? Think Nike shoes. By the way, real quick, the word brand is your voice and your image. And what we're listening for through a conversation of that brand with an audience is do they understand and are they reciprocating the message that your voice and image stands for? It's a change of the brain. Stop thinking, how can I sell? And think about why do they buy? Well, they buy because they like what they see in the brand's message. Because it's really about what you stand for and how you make them feel. Think Michael Jordan's Air Jordans. Marketing starts with building relationships by investing in yourself. The truth is, people who like you will buy. Being seen and being present is a part of the marketing process. Get heard through interviews, so who you are stands out. For fun, next time you're listening to an interview, be it on television or a radio show, listen to the process of the interview and hear what they're actually talking about. You'll notice the majority and the best part of those interviews are always them talking about their experiences in life, not necessarily the product. They may mention the product, they may slip it in there, but the majority of the conversation, what we are drawn into is the experiences they are letting out. Because we don't care that the movie's coming out Friday. We already know the movie is coming out. We don't need to listen to the person being interviewed going, the movie is coming out on Friday. Oh, is it? I did not see the thousand marketing advertisements and all the trailers. What captures our interest is that Maybe they did something funny on set and they're telling that story. Think of it like this. Tom Cruise just recently did another Mission Impossible. I think it's Mission Impossible 300, whatever it is. He does the majority of his own stunts. Well, he's doing an interview on one of those shows on television. And he says, yeah, yeah, I was doing this stunt. He, they show the stunt in slow-mo and he <laughs> breaks his ankle. Bam! Snaps it. But then he pulls himself up on the, on the roof and then he keeps going. He finishes the take. We're like, wow. That is, what? He's a beast. We're interested in that story. We can relate to hurting ourselves at work. We can relate about going through pain and, and finishing what it is we started. Basically, you're, you, you have to get heard through your adventure, through your experiences. That's what people are grasping onto. It's not about what you're doing that people care about. It's how you did it. Helpful tip. Figuring out your brand. Take out a piece of paper, a pencil or a pen. Marker is fine. I personally like to use purple. And I want you to mark down two columns. One column for voice and one column for image. Voice will always be for what you stand for. Simply put, write down in this column a list of things that are important to you. The things that you have stances on, your philosophies the way you want to influence life. For example, I personally believe in teamwork and working together. I also happen to believe that one should laugh at themselves and not really take themselves seriously in a way they can laugh at themselves and the world around them. The voice is something to keep in your dialect. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be what you're physically saying, but it needs to be what you present yourself with. Thus, that's why with my brand, you see me often helping people or motivating people and on top of it if you look throughout my entire social media i have a humorous overtone to my presentation 
Same thing with your image. When you write down your image, think about your style, the color schemes, and the overall look you want for both yourself and the mission at hand. The mission would be your career. If you want to be an actor or a comedian or own a business, this is a part of your image as well. Think of Johnny Depp and his unusual appearance. Well, when he's being interviewed, you see how he dresses. Now, if you notice, his roles that he takes in movies are unique, to say the least. And that's because there are similarities in who he is presenting himself to the public eye versus how he holds himself in his private life. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like a comment and share this video along with subscribing for future content. By the way, have questions? Let me know in the comments below. I love questions. And if you share this video, remember to at Thomas J. Beleza. That's me. And I will see that you shared it. Thus, I will be able to spread your stuff throughout the social media world in return. And as always, remember to work so hard but be productive and if you see people around you bring them in come here come here come here you to my left you to my right come here because you want to work together so you can grow together and thus arise together do you have what it takes to make a right love here do you do you punk do you have what it takes uh... oh dear